Lately, I've been addicted to watching speedrunner videos on a couple of games. Fun challenges in the Skyrim community, like competing to get the quickest marriage, and the ridiculously skilled Hitman speedrunning community, who complete the entire game in Silent Assassin in the time it takes me to get through a single level. All of these challenges got me wanting to try a speedrun, but after some attempts, I realised there's more chance of me winning the lottery than beating any speedrun times. That is, unless I make my own speedrun with an element of RNG to balance the playing field. So combining Skyrim and Hitman, I came up with an idea. Using the World Randomizer mod made by DDM, which randomises every single door in Skyrim, created for the Fantastic Juve, I have a mission to hunt down and kill any Jarl to finish the run. Some Jarls can't die, so I also installed Death Awaits Us All, which provides a spell to make them non-essential NPCs. Now you might be thinking, this speedrun sounds easy, but with the World Randomizer, one doesn't simply walk into Dragon's Reach. Now I have to explore this new multiverse of random portals, where death could be around any corner, and no guarantee I can even reach a Jarl. Plus, there's a couple of additional rules to make this more interesting. Survival mode and expert difficulty, so no fast travel and I need food and sleep to survive. And each run is permadeath, so if I die the save gets deleted and I have to start again using a new set of randomised doors. Oh, and did I mention, there's nearly a million variations of random doors to choose from, so you could spend hours in a universe with no way to complete this challenge. With every door randomised in this new multiverse, it's only fitting that a variant of my favourite Hitman makes an appearance. So Agent 69 has been brought in by the Dark Brotherhood to take on this daunting task. And with that introduction, the run can commence. Immediately, you're faced with some exploration choices a mysterious portal to somewhere in Skyrim, and the now random cave you've just exited. My portal led me to Skyhaven and a hub of four new doors, which really showcases how random this mod can be. What the hell? Okay. And here a word wall. Ooh. What have we got? Come on. Ice. I don't think you're going to be able to get a dragon soul in this run, but no, it's nice to have. And we've got... Ooh. Resist Frost. Potion of pickpocketing. I'll take... Let's take that. Resist Frost. I mean, it's better than nothing. Iron Door. Okay. Eye of Magnus is that. Don't think we're getting past that. Don't really want to touch it in case I die. Dead end. Back through another door. Windhelm Barracks. Okay. Don't know if there's a way out. If there's not a way out, I might be cheeky and try and steal some of this stuff. Banded iron armor. Okay, they're sitting down. This is the. Take that, take that. I'd rather die. Take the gloves, run. Okay, sorry, mate. Don't follow me before they can get me start into another door. Well, looks like a bit earlier to kill the Emperor, but will happily take all of his food and the shiny new sword. Heard a noise. Drauger. Yep, sorry. I'm not sticking around. Although I couldn't progress through those doors, I had armour, a weapon, and plenty of food. So I headed into the cave, which now takes me to the lovely town of Rorikstead, and even more chances to find adventure. And with lockpicks running low, I broke into the wrong house, which was filled with an intricate cave full of bandits. Okay, he's just a normal bandit. Just get him killed. Okay, that works. Perfect. I need a better weapon than this, though. It's too slow. Yes! That's what I like to see. Go on, shoot your shot. Too slow. Can you get me? No. Ow. You got me. Oh, oh unlucky. Okay, we're doing okay. Oh, yes. Perfect. Six of gold and a lockpick. This is exactly what we needed. Followed by stumbling onto a massacre of bandits by Falmer, which I hastily ran away from, before breaking into a house with a downstairs exit, which truly opened this run by transporting me to a massive hub of doors. Oh, we've got Riften. Yes. Shame I can't kill Grelob, but this is perfect. Okay, okay, okay. We've got a lot of doors to choose from. 
The hub town, which I've affectionately appropriated from Juve, is an opportunity to take exploration to the next level, with all of these doors possibly leading to an equal amount of doors through the various locations you're taken to. But it also comes with the risk of being lost in the multiverse, as you desperately try to remember how to get back to the main hub. Upon exploring, I quickly found doors to hub towns Riverwood and Carthwaston, but also usually locked places like Proud Spire Manor, which present good opportunities to loot and a rare safe space to sleep and level up. Also demonstrating how exploring a small location of three doors could almost cost you your life. Oh my god! Oh my god! If I died because of that, I would have been so upset. Riften also showed how agonisingly close you can get to completing a run and how cruel this mod can be. <gasps> oh my god, okay. We found one. We found a y'all. If he sleeps, can he get up here is the question. Kids are here. This is the last time I'll say it. Shut up, kid. With the Jarl not in his chambers at night, I could only presume he was lost in the multiverse trying to get to bed, and forced to continue on my journey. Stumbling through town opening every door I could find, with most being portals to various hells, finding Blackreach and immediately turning around, facing various forms of undead in Skeletons and Draga, and just as I was losing hope and down to the last couple of doors, I found a new hub town in Dawnstar. And after a quick trip back to Riften to sell some goods and resupply, the Dawnstar exploration began. My brain power was quickly tested, stumbling onto Raven Rock on the second door I opened. We're on Salt Time? Okay. So, this is now where it gets very confusing. Here, yeah. Solitude, or Raven Rock, whatever it's called. And then over there is Riften. They've got two ways to get to Hub Towns. That's a dead end. That's where we came from. Oh, my brain's starting to hurt, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. Followed by the discovery that I can also access solitude from the door across the street. And <laughs> so confusing. Now I've got solitude. Okay. We've got plenty of doors to choose from. So we can go back to Riften, or we can come to solitude or Raven Rock. So what is that? Where General Tullius is normally. Takes me back to Dawnstar. Okay, let's just finish Dawnstar, come back somewhere else. And with luck on my side, also stumble on a door to Markarth and its many new doors before also running into a way to transport to Whiterun. To this point, with so many doors to choose from, I start to believe this challenge is possible. With Dawnstar complete and luckily being the hub to transport to all hubs, I start exploring these new towns. Started with heading through the house that teleports me to Raven Rock. This town didn't disappoint with a door instantly taking me to a mysterious voice through a rock which turned out to be a trapped spirit in a throne room, the Fort Greenwall Captain's Quarters which provided a lovely opportunity to grab some loot for supplies, and the most cursed ladder I experienced in the run. Is that a dragon priest? Oh my god, that's a dragon priest. Uh, yeah, bye, 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 bye. And even more panic immediately after in a fort I was definitely not leveled for on expert difficulty. These people want to kill me. I don't want to die. Can I kill them? Dangerous. How many are there? It's a lot of mages, yet. Yeah. I'm going to die here. Let's take one on. No, what? Let's see. Come on. Oh, that's a lot of people. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't, I can't fight this. Oh my god, no, 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 he's come back alive. But most disturbing of all on my Raven Rock adventures was a portal which led me to a Dwemer facility, and a door I wasn't prepared to open. Upon entering, I arrived in a cosy looking establishment owned by the Silverblood family, but I was soon shocked to my core. Go, what's for dinner? Dog meat, you despicable bastard. You're paying for this with your life. Now that criminal scum, I'm not letting you harm another innocent dog. <laughs> okay, okay, let's get out of here before the interdimensional guards arrive. And if you're wondering why I took offence, well, I had to when I have such a cute dog in real life. Pretty quickly, I'd explored Raven Rock and it was mostly dead ends or certain death. So back to Dawnstar and a quick hop through another door to Solitude. There's plenty of adventure to be had, wherever you decide to go next. 
Solitude started out as a pleasant experience with stops into houses and even an orc long house to gather some much needed supplies, but this game is cruel and it quickly descended into multiple near run ending experiences. First I was arrested by a guard somehow knowing I'd stolen items which cost me my armour, and a now naked agent 69 was transported to various instances of hell. Where the hell am I? Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell is this cursed place? That's a strong skeleton. I might die it. Oh my god, yeah, this is bad. Uh, just get out, get out. I'm not leveled for this. Who are these people? Who are you? I'm about to die again. What have, I've just... What's just hit me? Oh god, uh, regeneration. I've got no health potions left. I'm gonna have to go. I can't, I can't stay. Hold on. Health. Minor, that's not good. Oh, bye! And the pain didn't stop there, with yet more doors to Forsworn occupied castles and Falmer infested dungeons. Starting to lose hope of this city, I eventually found a rest stop in the door to Helga's bunkhouse for a brief chance to grab some potions and a bit of sleep to level up, taking some much needed extra damage in the one handed skill tree. Followed by Alva's house, and I remembered you could take everything from him, so I cleared out his inventory of supplies and even helped myself to some new armour to help me avoid my increasingly certain death. After a couple more bandit encounters I wasn't ready for, I checked every door in solitude with no luck finding a path to a Jarl. So back to the Ultra Hub for an onward trip to Whiterun. The doors continued to bring endless amounts of pain in Whiterun by taking me to such cursed areas as the Dragonborn DLC boss fight, yet another way into the always delightful Blackreach, and a game freezing cutscene that's meant to be played at the end of the Thieves Guild, which caused me to reload and lose progress. I think my game's broken. This can't be the end. Not like this. Not like this, please. Please, I can't move. This is the end. All followed by another arrest which stripped me of most of my gear, mainly because I'd liberated it from unsuspecting houses. But not all things are bad, as I remembered I dumped a pile of my looted goods in a house, so hit the scene of my crime again to recover. My spirits were taking a massive knock until I stumbled onto a cave filled with spiders and vampires, and sick of running, I decided to investigate. Please, this is all. All of them. Okay, I've got venom. Could be worth it if I find it, y'all. Got plenty of venom to kill them with. Oh. Oh, vampires, okay. <laughs> Unlucky. Should I own trap layout? One. One. Oh my god. Oh. And after the final vampire was slain, I realised I could get my own pet spider. Which is rather fitting for a multi-dimensional style challenge. Don't like fighting. Find a cage key. Uh, I don't know what that is. Do I want to? Pet a Skyrim? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is the best run ever. Open frostbite. And a... And a rack here. I've completed a quest. Come with me to kill people. If you kill people, this is clutch. Plus, a very nice addition to the weapon arsenal in fire arrows and some potent poison to give me a slight chance of surviving a Jarl encounter. After the spider cave, there were no doors left in Whiterun, so I made my way back to Dawnstar and headed to everyone's favourite town of Markarth. And after a long time of committing bad deeds, I wanted to get back some good karma. Ah, I can stop the murder!
think we did it. Spider, devour him. Aren't you the one who normally dies? I think you're welcome. Markarth on this occasion turned out to be an interesting city, with a door leading me to the Reikling Chief, who celebrated my arrival by declaring me their shiny headed god, teleported me to the Mushroom Kingdom, which provided a few new doors to explore, including a well stocked bandit cave, which I bravely fought in until the chief arrived and I nearly served my pants when he took no damage. All of that followed by a door to High Hothgar with a surprised group of greybeards wondering why I was vanishing through doors for hours at a time. And this was where exploration got very confusing, with a load of doors in High Hothgar leading to places with even more doors. Always trying to remember my way back to main cities was given a major headache. But it was rewarding as well. Finding the Archmage's quarters, which was filled with helpful potions and ingredients, and providing a handy teleport to Falkreath which I'd not discovered yet. All I had to do was remember the four or so doors I'd taken to get through to this town so I could retrace my steps. I decided to tick off the Falkreef doors while I could remember the path back, encountering the usual bandit filled hovels, which not only caused my heart rate to grow to dangerous levels due to my constant fear of death and ending the run, but helped top up my dwindling lockpick count so I could continue exploring. I also discovered a word wall and an interesting gore I'd not seen before. I still get surprised how much of this game I've not seen after 13 years. And to sign off the exploration of Falkreath, I had a pleasant visit to a world full of books and floating squid, and not the fried type I enjoy eating. I'm not meant to be here, am I? Yep, yeah, nope, 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 I'm not. Oh my god, they can teleport. Oh my god. Get out, get out, get out. I'm not meant to be here. Hi, Throthgar and Falkreath were completed, so I resumed my Markarth adventure. And it quickly turned positive by teleporting me into a house with a lovely suit of bug style armor, which I liberated. I'm sure the owner won't mind, he can't find his house after all. I followed that success by ascending from the mortal realm into Sovereign God itself, cementing myself as a truly spectacular being. But with my mission still at hand, decided I'd ruin their feast by stomping on the tables and stealing any sliver of food I could see. I then thought I was being immediately punished by the gods with a teleport to nowhere, which actually turned out to be exactly what I'd spent four hours looking for. Castle Karstag Ruins. This might have just got me killed. How do I get back in? Not like this. How do I get back in? No. Please, God, no. Ah. No. Oh no, this is bad. Uh, I don't know where the entrance is. I'm going to freeze to death. Is that it? Is that the door came from? Oh, locked door master. I've got a chance in hell of doing that. Hold on. Okay, I know where it is. I can do this. I'm in. Where am I? Oh my god. Hey y'all. Although it's Stormcloak. Oh, this is bad. He's probably going to kill me. Um, After getting some much needed luck and finding the y'all, I got to explore around the doors inside the palace. Finding the Thalmor Embassy, the delightful smelling Ratway, and just as I was giving up hope, found the usually locked location of a very powerful weapon. I forgot about this. Suspicious cabinet in Riftwield Manor. There's a special special item in here, isn't there? We continue. No! Oh my god. This might not be the best idea. Do I have any magic? I forgot I have healing all this time. Okay, time to use it. Can I turn that off? Is this worth it? I can sneak in there. Oh. oh god. This is a lot of risk. I shouldn't be doing this. Why am I doing this? I could just kill this all. Bit more. Bit more. 
Okay, you've got children. What is better? What is better? Five points of frost damage, chance to paralyze. Yeah. Children. And fire arrows to kill the Yarl. Ooh. With children secured, I felt ready to tackle Ulfric, and the preparation started. First, increasing my health and taking a couple of perks to give me a boost in damage and defense. I then carefully studied my victim's schedule so I could separate him from his guards. I soon found that when the Jarl goes to bed, he leaves his trusted bodyguard, Gilmar, behind. So I took this opportunity to get rid of him to make my life easier. Another character who stays in the map room also goes to bed around 9pm, which leaves this room empty of a night. And it just so happens the Jarl leaves his way to his quarters shortly after, so I have my window of opportunity. I for some reason, kill an innocent sleeping man so I can pass the time until the evening get my spider to secrete his web all over the floor to trap any guards he might want to get involved, hit the Jarl with the spell to allow me to kill him, and the fight was on. Chill rend. I'll get poison on it. Hello? Jarl? Come on. Oh! Where's my weapon? Children! Children, where the hell children gone? I've got him. Oh my god, okay. Is he dead? Y'all, Ulfric, dead. Okay, it is done. It is done. Oh, this was painful. Four hours, 20 minutes to find one. I've lost children. I don't know where the hell it's gone. With the kill on Ulfric happening on 4 hours and 20 minutes, the speedrun was complete, and I can take my rightful place as Jarl after a successful interdimensional assassination, who could be known going forwards as the true 420 Blaze King. But then it dawned on me, it's not really a speedrun if it's taken over 4 hours to complete, so I decided to lock myself in for another speedrun attempt using a brand new set of randomised doors. Run 2 begins on the imaginative seed 111111. The portal this time takes me to a dead end house, so I loot what I can and quickly leave. And the cave entrance takes me to some sort of Falma dungeon, so I peace out and head to Embershard Mine. A quick bandit kill gives me some extra armour and loot, and the entrance takes me to the tavern in Raven Rock, so I explore taking as much food as I can carry before heading on to Riverwood as the next location which will have a few doors to explore. I grab the supplies from Alvor before getting into the exploration, finding a locked dungeon with no way out, followed by a frozen path and a bit of a shock. Frozen cave, what is in here? I don't like the look of this. Are they dead? Circlet of water breathing. Oh shit! Oh my god, okay. Run. Oh my god. Oh, where's the door? And after recovering by an assault of smell in the Golden Glow sewer, I found a door to another hub area through the Riverwood Trader, the Skull Village, and a number of new chances to find a Yarl. Things started well in Skull Village, with a door leading to Elgram's Elixirs, provided with a good amount of potions, and the elderly shopkeepers a potentially deadly fright, followed by a back door of the Longhouse leading to the massive City of Solitude, which I could explore if the village was a dead end. I continued ticking off houses, finding a dead end in a Dwemer ruin, a way into Blackreach which took me on a small adventure into the White Wind Barracks, before I entered an unsuspecting house and an odd port again fortuitous glitch. Now let's continue, let's just take everything. Hello? Are you alive? Not to be in here. Sorry, sorry, I'll just steal everything and be gone. Okay, I need to break back out. Blackfriar Lodge. What the hell? Oh my god. This isn't... Why is she taking me here? Okay, this isn't normal. I need to run. Can I kill these people? I came through there. Don't mind me. Door. Oh my god, there's a door. Okay. Expert lock. Please don't break. Come on. Okay. Through. Don't know why it took me there, but... <gasps> yes! Found a Finding Ulfric for the second time so quickly was a blessing, 
but I soon realised I was very under-leveled and under-equipped compared to last time. So I took my one level into health and increased my one-handed damage, and got to exploring the palace doors in the hope of finding something to help me kill the Jarl. Sadly, most of the doors contained absolutely nothing apart from a teleport into a shop in Windhelm, which provided a few potions and poisons, as well as some backup weapons I could use, and after a few game crashes costing me precious time, I was ready to kill the Jarl. So, I cast the usual spell to make him killable, equipped some poison to my weapon, and waited for an opportunity to strike, using my knowledge from the last run. Hello, old prick! Get more poison, get more poison! Up. Oh god, I'm getting hurt. Uh, healing, healing, draft of health. More poison, please. Is he dead? Is that, con is that confirmation? Yeah, Ulfric's dead. Oh god! Uh, healing, 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 healing! With a speed run time of 32 minutes and 51 seconds, I'd shaved nearly 4 hours from my previous time. But with the path memorised, I knew I could cut this time right down. So I reloaded at the start of this run, and went for the fastest time possible. The run starts with a trip into the portal to grab the potions and weapon I know spawn in there. Needed all of the heals I can find, this was worth the time. I then sprint to Embershard Mine to kill the bandit for his armour, and an extra lockpick in case I get some unlucky breaks. I arrive at Riverwood and stock up on supplies from Alvor, again taking this time for the extra potions I'll need for the Ulfric fight, before heading into the Riverwood Trader Door to transport me to Skull Village. I waste no time in the village, quickly breaking into Oslav's house, before breaking back out to use the random teleportation glitch I encountered, which takes me to Blackbriar Lodge, and after easily evading the useless orc guard, I jump off the cliff and break back into the lodge to teleport me to Jarl Ulfric's palace. Before making the assassination attempt, I go through the first door on the left to visit the Windhelm shop. The poor shopkeeper takes a mace to the head so he doesn't follow me through, and I lose all of the potions and poison again. I speed back through to sleep in the kitchen bed to level my health and increase my one-handed damage, cast the usual spell, poison my weapon, and spring my trap in the corridor. No! Come on! So we're ready to start this war in earnest then. Soon. I Come on. I know he's disarmed me. Uh, I am Mace. Frostbite Venom again. Poison, 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 poison. Close that door. Come on. Die, old prick. Confirmed, Ulfric's dead. And with that attempt, Ulfric took his last breath on 6 minutes and 18 seconds, a time I'm very happy with considering how long I know this can take. So, me and Agent 69 could take a sigh of relief that there's a respectable time posted, and I can regain some of my lost sanity. But, I would like to challenge you all to download the mods and give this speedrun a go. If you can beat my time, well, there's no prize, but you'll have some bragging rights.